why do you think editing is required and if you do not make your video catchy you will probably not get the audience keep it on the left or right and i want to make it this is appropriate size so let's do this how we can add videos how we can add photos to a video and then how you, i can add music this image then i put the third one then i fourth understand that what you can do uh, for making your video more engaging So today I'm really excited for today's session because today we are taking one of the most crucial session on video creation that is video editing. A lot of people struggle with this one topic. Today we are going to take this thing from the basics and we are making sure that we upskill you to a point where you become a pro editor. So today for this keynote session we have somebody whose introduction i'm going to read out so he is an it pro professional for uh, with 13 plus years of experience he's currently serving the role of it portfolio in tcs at the start of 2020 he rekindled his passion for reading non fiction books and has finished a dozen of books since the start of the year during the pandemic he overtook a, a new venture that was video creation he completed around 9000 plus views on his channel recently so please help me welcome our keynote speaker haritosh shrivastav morning afternoon evening people joining us from around the world it's it's it started around 7 or 8 months back i had a youtube youtube channel since 2011 but i didn't do anything on one fine evening one of my friends said why don't you start making videos in youtube i said okay that's a good idea since we can't do anything much in lockdown let's start getting into video creation and since then i have created 100 plus videos in youtube during these last few months i've learned different editing skills and i'm today here to share some of my learnings i do not qualify myself as a pro editor i do not do film shooting or anything like that but some of my videos has got good views i get lot of commendation for making engaging videos and i also did a lot of study related to how you can make your make your videos more engaging more enthusiastic and more catchy so in this session i'm going to share all my learnings and i hope that you will also learn something out of it I had planned to show you how we can add videos how we can add photos to a video and then how you, I can add music some overlays or b roll as you call and also uh, see what are the basic principles of editing so all good with everyone so now what i'm going to do is first let's understand why do we need to do edit why do you think editing is required why not we just record a video on our phone and post it on youtube why do you why do you think that we need to have some editing skills if we want to become a successful youtuber why do if you talk about the influencer they spend lakhs and crores of rupees on getting their creative team getting professional cameras getting professional editors why do they do that why is it required anyone because people want to show themselves as polished they don't want to show uh, the glitches that went through the video okay 
And I believe that uh, it sounds more interesting and engaging to the viewers. Viewer also mm -hmm. understands you are taking your work seriously. You are making sure that the viewers are getting the best version of your video. And mm -hmm. it is quite comfortable to eyes when you look at the pictures and pictures are also painting the words associated to what you're saying. So overall, it's a great mm -hmm. experience people get uh, with editing. Very good. Yeah. Okay. So far, I've heard engagement and making, hiding your mistakes and uh, also some more things. All right. So why I think editing is more important is because uh, in this generation, if you talk about 10 or 20 years back, the audience retention, uh, the, the more longer people can sit at one position or watch something was way too high. People can't, could sit on one place for hours. They can continue work with, but with generation Y, generation Z and YZ coming up, the retention time of any particular video or any particular audience is getting shorter and shorter. In fact, there was a study uh, which say that if your video do not catch the attention of audience within four to five seconds of the start of the video, most likely the audience is going to go away to next uh, next video and they'll not, they'll not be there and you will not the, get the views, the hours and the subscribers. Uh, this game actually became really interesting when YouTube a few uh, I think a couple of months back, YouTube launched shorts and that is a very, very short video, 30 seconds video, 30 seconds to a minute video. And if you do not make your video catchy, you will probably not get the audience. So the idea behind all of this is that you make your video as engaging, as catchy as possible. And how do you do that? I cannot have Virendra Sehwag on my one shoulder and MS Dhoni on my other shoulder, but with editing, I can definitely do that. So editing allows you to actually make your video more engaging, right? If I continue to stand here and talk for 50 minutes, you'll probably be bored out of this session. So that is why it's very important to use those skills. If you are speaking, for example, I make motivational videos. Now I try to put some overlay photos or videos, and I'm going to share a, a experiment that I have done uh, with the video, and you'll, you'll be able to find the difference. So that is one of the very important thing why, why you want to do editing. Now I'm going to share my screen once again uh, to keep it more engaging. Uh, I don't want you to keep watching me, even though I'm pretty well prepared today. Uh, but what I want to show you is there are, these are two videos that I'm going to show one after other. One is a pure Facebook live I did a few months back. And then with the help of editing, I use the same video, but I put the editing and hopefully you'll be able to find the difference. Don't you ever waste food. That's what my mom told when I first time wasted food. Hello friends, this is Haritosh and I am back with number 44 of 51 Game Changers. And today's my Game Changer is Take Less But Take Often. When I was a kid, I started developing the habit of wasting food. And my mother did not like that. So one day when I wasted a good amount of food, she reprimanded me hard and said if you ever waste food i'm gonna thrash you but then she said take less and take often now when i grew up i realized the importance of that i realized the millions of people who have no food in all right so that was about one minute 11 second of video and as with me you would have probably started feeling a little bit of bored or too much after probably 40 seconds or so so when i was creating the video for my youtube i took the same video used the editing skills and post it on youtube so now i'm going to share with you what i did for my youtube edited video and hopefully you'll be able to see the difference
Don't you ever waste food. That's what my mom told when I first time wasted food. Hello friends, this is Haritosh and I'm back with number 44 of 51 game changers. And today's my game changer is take less but take off it. When I was a kid, I started developing the habit of wasting food. And my mother did not like that. So one day when I wasted a good amount of food, she reprimanded me hard and said, if you ever waste food, I'm gonna thrash you. But then she said, take less and take off it. All right. So I played almost similar uh duration for the same videos one which is pretty raw a facebook live and another one where i use some of the editing skills so raise your hand or say yes if you like the youtube version or or say no if you like the facebook version in the chat the one after editing okay all right so what do you guys think what are the different elements used while trying to edit this particular video any guesses? I can see at least four or five elements that I use. So let me hear from you. What are the different elements that were used uh, for editing this video? I think um, animations or emojis to mm -hmm. show your emotions through some animation. And that right. kind of, uh, you know, pretty much reinforces the emotion. Yeah. Correct. Green screen uh, usage, you use uh, that animation uh, with mm -hmm. green screen. I didn't add green screen, but I used animation a bit of it. Okay. Did you guys also feel that video was smoother in ice because there was a background music associated with it? Yeah. Yes. In the original video, I was in a I was in a playground uh, in a park and there was a lot of background music. But since I put the music, it actually kind of subsided those background and it made it very easy or pleasant to hear that. Any other points? Uh, you showed emojis and images for different, different things that you, mm -hmm. you did in that right. video. Right, so emojis, adding some more pictures on top of the real video and then having a background music. I do not did not use too many things on top of these, uh, on top of this particular video, but having these three element in itself actually made the video more engaging. I think he also added the key takeaways was written there. So that is something which right. we know that what exactly the key takeaway from this video. That's text. Yeah, so text. Text. Yeah, text. Uh, basically, putting kind of heading or subheading. So that and why do you think I do that? I do that because. If, for example, somebody is there who is not able to put the video on full volume and he opens the video, he should not be seeing my face and background. He should have something to know that what exactly is the video all about so that he may probably watch it later or at least get the takeaway. So that is why I put some visual cues. As they say in speaking, you need to have pathos, logos and ethos if you have a proper speech. Similarly for YouTube also or editing a video also, you need to make sure there's something for your ears, there's something for your eyes and there is a complete package if somebody is watching the video. So enough uh, talking now. And as I said, I don't want to have too much of talking, but a little bit more about the softwares. Uh, what are the softwares that you can use? Now this particular video I chose because I, I am using PowerDirector. Uh, Power Director is one of the softwares which you can use on your laptop. Uh, sorry, on your phone. There are other softwares as well, like Kind Master, etc. And you can use there are in short. There are there are many uh, video editing tools, and we are not going to get into any particular uh, software today. The intent of this particular session is not to showcase the good versus bad of any particular software, but it's more to get to know uh, more to let you know the basics of editing. What are the things that you can use and what are the different options available? Okay. 
If you have a laptop, then you have multiple softwares like Windows Movie Maker. Uh, you have iMovie if you have Mac. You also have Windora Film Share. I got the uh, paid uh, Windora license some time back. You also have, if you have budget, you also have Adobe Premiere Pro. And there are other softwares as well that you can use. So there are multiple softwares. And as I said, the intent is not to showcase the software, uh, not, not to showcase all the features of software, but to really understand that what you can do uh, for making your video more engaging. And instead of having a raw video, how you can put different elements to make the video more catchy, more engaging. All right, so let's go on to, and I'm going to share my screen through mobile and I want to show how you can edit your video without having to uh, have a laptop or something. So that's another misconception that you need best quality software, best quality laptop to actually start editing videos. That's that's a misconception. You, It's desirable, but even if you do not have a lot of budget, you can still make good videos uh, using some of the basic skills. So as I said, I am sharing, uh, I am using Power Director. Uh, Power Director is one of the softwares uh, which allows you to edit video on your phone. And I've opened Power Director and now I'm going to take one of the videos and edit. The very first step is to understand the uh, which mode you want. Do you want portrait or landscape or one is to one? Uh, for example, if I'm making shorts video, you would like to take nine is to 16 because that's how it should be a vertical video. But if you're taking it, uh, making a different video where you want to actually uh, put a bigger landscape video, then you put 16 is to nine. So let me share once again. So let's say I want to make a 16 is to nine. I'll start a new project. Now, if you see, there are different buttons and we are going to go through all the ways. What it shows is there is a video which is selected now. You have elements for adding images. And the third is adding different music. Um, and what we are going to do is I'll take one of the random videos on my phone and I'll try to incorporate some of these editing skills and let's see what happens. I have not prepared for this, so we'll go through it together and let's see what we do. So I'm going to go to my one of the videos. I'll take this one and let's see. So once you select, a, uh, once you choose a video, it comes into this bar, which is more of a video and pictures. And you can actually play this. So you see there is some video coming up. Right, so this was one of the video I created for storytelling. Now, if you go back, this is the project is saved and you can come back again. You can see a preview by clicking on this button. It will directly play the video or you can actually click on the edit project. It will bring the editing screen here. Now I want to say that I, this is a very plain video and I want to add some more pictures to it. So uh, how do I do that? One option is that if it is sequential, like one picture after other or after other, then what you can simply do is you look at the left bar and there is this button. If you see, there is this button which brings videos, images, and sounds. I'm going to go to a random picture. Let's say I want to take this picture. Once you click on any of this picture, you'll see two options. One is the plus, which we'll add here. Another is preview. So I want to know what exactly is this picture. So I click on this. So this is the picture that is going to be here. I go back and I click on plus. And if you see, it comes right after this video. So the video was about two minutes, 30 seconds, uh, 34 seconds. And the picture comes right after this. So that's how if you have to add more picture, I'll click on another picture. I'll add, I click on one more picture. So it will keep on adding sequentially. Then uh, point comes that maybe I, I do not want to add pictures in sequence. What I want to do is add pictures in between. So I want to have a portion of video, then a picture and then a portion of video. So let's do that. So once we come outside this, you will see this video pane is here. What we can do is uh, let's say I want to have a video. I want to insert a picture right after 16 seconds. So I'll select this. If you see, there is a green, uh, selection and then you click this something called the blade it's, it's more like a blade once you see here you can see that video is actually cut into two pieces now once your video is cut into two pieces 
you can actually go back so yeah so now if i want to say put the first image in between those two video i'll select that particular video and just drag it till the point so i'll drag it here so now if you see the video will go here you see the video stopped and the picture came and the video resumed so this is how you insert any picture in that so that's that's one way of inserting pictures so we talked about how do you include video how do you include pictures how do you cut video or insert pictures in between now what happens is many of the times our audio quality may not be good or we want to have a background music so how do you do that so you go to the same place there where we go you had video you had pictures then you have sound and you can uh, pull up sound from your phone for example i have a few uh, sample sound that i have again you select any of these you have two options one is display button what does is do is it will play actually it's kind of a preview where you can see whether this music is making sense or not the uh, other option is the plus so for example this is another sound that i have i like this sound so i'm going to put there so the moment you put that you see the sound comes right below the main video pane so if i have this video and if i want to play that this is how it will so this is so now we have done the video we have cut the video in two parts we have added a photo and we have also added a background music in it now there may be times where you want to have more background music or you want to have less background music so you have this gear box which has different settings so one of the important settings over here is the audio mixing so you see there is first audio which this is the main uh, video the main audio of the video then you have these different sounds and you can actually adjust you can have different overlays we'll talk about overlays in a minute but you can adjust so basically if i'm speaking and i want to have my volume at 100% but the background should be about 20% of its original volume you can set it up over here and that way it will be a soothing what you don't want to your background music to overpower your video so that's how you do it all right let's move forward so now uh, let's say this is very good but i want to add some more text because i i i am interested in showing somebody what exactly it is so let's say i want to say my name is harito shivasto as a text so that anybody who is watching the video is also able to see without having the sound so if you see here there is this layer button when you click on that there are different options type title video image and sticker title is where it will add you text so now there are different options available here for example if you click on any of these you can see the preview if you click on this so this is how the title will come you can come back i i do not like this uh, this could be another one that i want to try so this has some more uh, colorful thing but and the text comes here so let's say i am interested in adding this so i will add this and you see there is a layer added over here you click on that it shows your text now i'll say my name is haritosh okay now i can actually drag drop to make the size bigger or i want to say i want to put it on top or there i can also touch this t button which will allow me to edit the font or the say i want to make it bold i want to make it central aligned and then i i do not like this white color i want to make it say this yellow or maybe blue right or maybe violet now you can guess i am not very good with colors but i'll probably put red here another quick tip for you uh, which is if you are trying to add text one of the things that you should do is have a contrasting uh, uh, outer layer of the font what i mean by that is if you see there are there are three option here and there is 
if you see closely this is a black text here in the a and it has a white border you would definitely want to have a border of your text so that if you have some uh, very moving images in the background your text will still show up and let me see i i am now going to put this as border so do you see that the the text has a border white border and it looks much more uh, uh, engaging and you can actually clearly see what exactly is written so let's let's preview what it looks right so you are able to see that how you can add text how you are able to add videos how you can cut videos how you can do pictures and also if you say you, you want this picture to be little longer than what it shows so by default it has a setting of 1 to 2 second you want this image to be longer so you can just drag and the image will stay there longer you can see the timeline so it will be there from 15 second to say 26 second so you can actually choose how long you want this uh, picture to be there you have added video now one of the things you noticed in that particular video was i used a lot of emojis on top of my video so i am going to cover now how you can add emojis on your video so that's also part of an overlay where you have in power director you have this option that you can go to sticky and you get lot of different emojis some of them are free some of them are paid uh, since this is a general session i'm going to take one of the session so this one is the live and now i can just so, so this is little bit big and it is overpowering my face i want to keep it on the left or right and i want to make it this is appropriate size so let's do this now let's play it again so that's how the emojis came so if you remember in my video i had of a face which was angry or smashing and things like that you can use different emojis to actually incorporate all those elements now you may not have all the emojis so you can also incorporate another video on top of that so you might have seen some of these youtubers who have uh, one video going on and then in that you have a short video which is something else that goes on uh, so that it becomes more engaging so let's try to do uh, this uh, overlay of video uh, let me take another video da -da 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 -da. okay i'm taking a random video again so if you see here there is another video layer added here this is uh, of smaller size and act, if i want to overpower this video i can actually drag and drop and uh, drag it to make it better let's keep it like this and i can choose to keep it for uh, sometimes for example i want to keep this video for 5 second so i'll go till 5 second and then i will again select this the same uh, uh, knife icon i'll click on that and i'll just remove the other section so let's see how this this look so you can see there is a video on top of video coming up and we had an image in the background that was in between the video so that's how you incorporate the second element of having a video similarly there are option where if you want to have another image on top of that exactly same thing you go there you select one of the images on top of this so let's say i want to add a image of let's say the food of this so i come back here i see the image of food and i can actually increase or decrease the size and put that so it will come on top of this original video right so any question so far yes haritosh yeah uh you had put that animation and uh, that sound of a bell icon so can you show us uh, how you put that mm -hmm. good question so like you have the background music similarly you can add sound and all of these for example audio video sounds these are like layers on top of layers so you can actually have one sound and on top of that you can have another sound uh, so let's see what we want to do is we have want to add another sound on top of whatever background we have so we'll go here we'll again go to the music section and let's see
So you have different by default power detector gives you a few sounds. Let's see uh, what is the sound that we want to use. Bell icon. Yeah, you have to search or if you have it something already there, you can use it. Let me just randomly take one of those. These are longer one. So, da, 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 da. yeah, go to sound clips. Yep. So this chime one is similar to what you want to put for your subscribe button. Yeah. So you pre preview that and then you add that here and maybe say you don't want to put it in the start. Let's let's do this. Uh, let's say I want to have that subscribe uh, button coming up, and then I also want to have that music where people have that bell sound coming up. So let me take this to a little bit far. Ground music is gone to somewhere else, and and I also want to. So we had the like button. Now I also want to have that subscribe button. So I had one subscribe. Uh, downloaded subscribe uh, image so the subscribe should also be an overlay image sorry about that we'll go to the where it is downloaded now if you see here there are two layers what we can do is just drag drop add another layer for the subscribe so you see there is a like button and there is a subscribe and i don't want to let it take over so what i'm gonna do is i i'm gonna move it to the left right and keep the like button as left now if i play this video right so you have uh, two pictures overlaid over your original video and that's how it becomes engaging so let me play whatever we have done so far so that you get an idea of how you can use different elements. And then if we have more question, I'll focus on that. So. So you saw we have in a very sh short frame of time, we have incorporated many elements in your video. And once you incorporate all these elements, your video becomes more engaging and more interesting for end users. So this was a high level of it. There are other things that you can use background. You can have video on top of video and all. You can keep on going. I don't want to complicate this session. So I'm going to stop here and I'm gonna open for questions. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna tell you that editing is not easy. And like with anything in life, it takes time to learn. Uh, but if you continue to invest some time on, on it, you will definitely get the value out of it. it it's not a one day that, okay, I come, I get this one session and I'm done, I'm a pro editor. It's not, for me also it was, it was a continuous journey. So you have to invest some time in it, but as you go through all these suggestions that I have provided, you'll definitely become more uh, uh, cognizant. And now when you go back and watch the YouTube videos, you will try to notice the, the bigger videos that people make, what are the different elements? Uh, another thing that I did not talk about is that how can you actually, you can zoom in and zoom out of the video. When you do that, uh, that whole feeling of sitting at one place can also be, made very, very interesting with this. So now if you have any question, I'm open to that. Uh, guys, I just want to announce that, you know, uh, people who would ask the best question to our keynote speaker, he would, uh, his channel or her channel would be promoted by us. So please feel free to ask any questions that you have. Uh, and please post your channels in the chat box. We will promote the best question, uh, which is asked by somebody in the uh, session. All right. Um, meanwhile, let me ask you this question. It was, I am enjoying this session like anything. There are a lot of things about editing I have learned, which I was not aware of. Thank you so very much for that. 
Um, Haritosh, I was wondering uh, one more thing. I mean, I don't know whether I should ask this question right now. Uh, I have seen one of your videos, I and mean, most of your videos are so amazing and engaging. You at times um, make it, you know, the black and white, and then you bring the color back on your videos. I mean, that's so engaging. If you could just help us to, to understand mm -hmm. the secret of it. Great. Uh, so yeah, if you want to make that uh, gray screen and other, these are the different effects. So I got the license of Pandora film share. Uh, that's on there. You don't really have to do this, but uh, another thing you can do is uh, you have options in your phone, uh, the photo editors and video editors, and you can apply some filters. One of the things I tried once is that I posted a video on Instagram and then I used the Instagram filter and uh, and make it grayscale and then downloaded that and then use that in my video. So that those are the creative ways you can actually use the uh, grayscale and then you can do that. That sounds interesting. That's just quite a smart idea of doing it. Yeah, thank you so much, Ritosh. Yeah. Editing is all about yeah. being smart, yeah. <laughs> smart and start. Yeah, with. absolutely. I would encourage everyone to ask questions. I mean, the more questions you ask, the more right. you learn. And we are there to help you with all the questions. And do post your question chat box, share your channels. The best questions are going to be promoted as well. Please uh, do. I, I yes, wanted sir. to ask one question that, uh, you know, you had put comments the best comments uh, and there were a lot of comments and then they came like this mm. in an that was yeah. really interesting yep that's a good one so let me share the screen yeah that's uh, i yeah i hope i should have that video somewhere i remember what you're talking about it was i think aaron's video that i updated yeah. and yeah let me quickly see and then i can probably share with you if I have that, yep. Yeah, let me share the screen. So I use a combination of Canva for creating images. And then I used, uh, what I did was I took the screenshot of different comments and used Canva to create different image and then put it one after other. So I'm sharing the screen now once again, and I was able to find that. Okay, okay. So that if you see, if yeah. you see these are, let me zoom it. So this, this is the original video that is there from uh, Aaron's interview. I stopped that video after this, I put a uh, text, uh, I put an image from Canva. And then what I have is, if you see the original is black, it's a black image. There's nothing stopping you here. And what I have is I've taken first. So to put the animation, you can either use some animation tool what I did was I took one uh, comment, took a screenshot of that, used Canva to create one image. Then on top of that, I added another comment, screenshot of comment, use that Canva to actually uh, save this image. Then I put the third one, then I fourth. So that's why I was saying that it looks pretty easy that no, it's, it's just like that, but it, there's a lot of work required. So if I play from here, hopefully you'll be able to see how the effect comes in. Wow. That's a very creative way to, you know, make your video very engaging. Yeah. And if you see here, there is a background music every time there is a new image coming. So because there is a sound effect that I use. So it yeah. looks like it, it's an animation, but it, it is an animation, but it's what you used using video tool. So let me play it once again. Yeah. Yep. That's very creative. Thank you for asking that. Yeah, I have forgot about that. Yeah. Any other question? Um, I also saw that, you know, once in a video, you had put that uh, text and it was, you know, animated. Like uh, first it came and then it went like that. So how did you put that mm -hmm. animation? Is it like a template or? Yeah, that's a sort of a template that you can use for title. So you, you have different titles and then you can use different styles. So what you have is whenever you use a template, you will get an option to preview. Uh, so if I share once again, let's say I want to add another title here and I'll go here and click on title. So you have these different options and 
if you see here, there are different ones. For example, let's see this one. So I can click on the play button and I can see. So this is how you will, uh, the text will come and go. So if I want to use this effect or I want to say, I want to use this wedding secrets. So this is how the text will he come here and it will go away. So you uh, decide which particular theme uh, you want to use. And there's like with the new editing software, you have a lot many options to actually incorporate different elements and uh, that can really make your video much better. Okay. Any other question from anyone? Uh, hey, here is a Sunny said this side. Hi, Sunny. So I have one question, uh, like uh, what we have to keep in mind while we choose any audio, I mean the media and mm -hmm. uh, image and video clips. Like mm -hmm. I have seen that YouTube studio has one uh, media library, but mm -hmm. uh, if we have to use something outside of that, mm -hmm. uh, so I have seen a lot of copyright issues in images yeah. and especially in video clips. So mm -hmm. what we have to keep in mind? Yeah. So what you really have to keep in mind is the copyright issue. Uh, so because somebody creates a video uh, and if you are using it without permission, uh, that can result into copyright issue. And if your channel gets monetized, they might actually take away your money in terms of using that copyright strike and all. What you can do is there are multiple sites available which provide you uh, free videos. For example, Unsplash is one site. Uh, you have Pixabay is another site. So they have uh, sort of free videos available that you can download and you can use uh, for your uh, uh, for your uh, particular video. So you use that as an overlay or, or you use it as a, another video. They also have a lot of free images. If the same problem is with images. If you have a licensed image and you do not have the license, you can get into issues. So if you have fun, Get that, get that if that one particular image is so crucial for you, for your video, then yeah, buy that license. But if it is something that you can mark out, I believe there are a lot of uh, providers, Unsplash, Pixabay and others that allow you to download free images, use those images and videos. Similarly for uh, volume, uh, for uh, audio also, there are audio libraries available. So YouTube, best is the YouTube audio library. They have got like, millions of free music that you can use. There is no copyright issue with that. Uh, otherwise, there are different uh, websites available like Ben Sound is one I sometimes use. They have this free uh, uh, free audio library. You just have to mention their name in your YouTube uh, video description. So similarly, there are other libraries also which are free or sometimes you have to give credit or sometimes you don't have to do anything. But yeah, make sure you follow the rules, follow the copyright policies uh, so that you don't get into any issues. Yeah, thanks, thanks. I got the idea. Yeah, good. Any other questions? All right, how are we doing with the time? Uh, you are on mute. One minute. We have consumed about 50 minutes. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, that was it. The basics of video editing. And as I said earlier, video editing, learning to edit your video is a process. It's not an overnight job or one day, one hour job that you attend one session and do it. I hope after this session, when you know a little bit of basics, uh, whenever you see a video, I think one of the things that has helped me in last few weeks or months, I would say is that whenever I see a excellent video, after I enjoy the video, I go back once again and see what exactly I like. Uh, uh, there is uh, David J.P. Phillips, uh, one of my favorite YouTubers. He does a lot of uh, communication video. And if you see his video, it is so enjoyable. And then when I started analyzing, he will have the same video and then he will go zoom it and then he will come back. Then he will have some other, he'll just do it like this. And then he will have some explosion uh, image coming up. You have a lot of sound effects coming up. So start analyzing those video and that will get you into the mindset of how you can make your video to the, take your videos to the next level of editing. Once you get into mindset, I think sky is the limit. 
So thank you so much for having me. And with that, I pass the control back to our host, Taiva. Thank you so much. A huge round of applause for our wonderful keynote uh, speaker, Aitoh Srivastav. He literally took us from ground zero to Mount Everest. So that was actually really informing. I personally learned so much about editing. And in particular, I was looking forward to mobile editing because I generally use my laptop. And since I've started blogging, I, I need to have, uh, you know, videos edited through mobile. So that was a great session.